Welcome to the Taiyang News SNEC Leadership Conversations. My name is Michael Schmela, and I'm the Managing Director of Taiyang News All About Solar. I'm very happy to have with me today Jimmy Chu, President at Huasan, a pioneer in record leading, efficiency leading, HJT heterojunction solar cell technology. We want to talk today a little bit more about the company's um, option selection for this interesting technology and how it is, uh, what it has experienced in developing this uh, interesting um, cell technology option. So, Jimmy, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. meeting you. Mm. Thanks for coming. So, Huasan is a very interesting company. So, you're still pretty young, but not so young. You're four, mar four years in the market, uh, so a relative newcomer to, to these uh, somewhat established companies. Uh, well, we have to see that uh, solar is still a young industry, but uh, still there are some companies who are... Who are for, for over decades in, the, in this industry now. So, um, although you, you started actually, yeah, so, so recently, your module is the most efficiency heterojunction technology mm. product in the industry. So, so tell us a little bit, uh, what, what's the secret of Wasan's success? So we are really we are a pretty young company, owning actually less Less than four years, very close. <laughs> uh, by September, September twenty or oh, July twenty first will be four years. Uh, the secret, the secret, I think, uh, the first one that we commit, we commit to manufacture the best solar product in the world. So when we define the best, I refer to the highest efficiency the best output and uh, the, low the lowest uh, carbon footprint and uh, the best reliability and also the, the lowest cost. The secret that we can make in the highest solar, power power, solar panel in the world is that, and I think we first we very focus on the R&D and, creat and uh, creativities. We put a lot of money on R&D and uh, uh, to how to make the highest solar cell manufacture and the solar module manufacture. It's the number one. And the number two, and, uh, and so from the first day of Huasang, and we create a technology sharing platform. So especially since last year, and uh, we, we create a uh, HJT technology sharing technology platform. On that, on that platform, over almost 150 companies to increase our efficiency and uh, lower down our cost. And uh, so by now, and uh, every new equipment of HJT and uh, new materials and new process and uh, is, is testing on Huasang. For mass production, we are a big lab for the whole HJT industry. It's a number number two and number three. And Huasang, we have a big HJT talent teams. In Huasang, we have over 400 talents, and with uh, almost 10 years experience on HJT working together. And in China, half in China since the last 10 years. Half of HJT team members working in Huasang. That's the that's the secret. We can make a bigger progress. Okay, still, um, when when you look at HJT in comparison to Topcon, which more or less uh, uh, I don't know started, but at least uh, was where both um, technology options after Perk. So if you if you look at both, most companies opted for Topcon. Mm -hmm. um, so which is then, of course, much easier to expand and to produce mm. simply because mm. almost everyone is doing that. Of course, yes. it's much more difficult to differentiate. Mm. But still, uh, when you look at, um, 
at the, the two technologies, how, how they have been developing over the, the last two years, let's say, um, would, you, would you, when you could do the decision again, bet again on heterojunction, or would you decide no differently? <laughs> um, okay, uh, my choice is on HJT. HJT is uh, much more difficult than Topka. And uh, most uh, of China's solar companies, they work on Topka, not HJT. But uh, sometimes you, 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 you have to do the, the difficult job, not the easy job. <laughs> Especially if you, you, you want to go, go forward, go, long, go longer. Uh, I, I started my HJT R&D career since the year 2011. That's almost 13 years ago. And uh, my teacher, uh, Dr. Wang Wenjin, and started on H HJT R&D since the year 2000. That's 24 years ago. But 20 years ago or 10 years ago, and nobody believed that HJT will were be successful. And uh, because in, in the past time, it's impossible to make HJT at a large scale and also can maintain the low cost because it's totally different compared with the top car. Uh, for from BSF to Perkin to top car, what is this technology based on the diffusion technology, diffuse, high temperature diffuse technology? HJT based on the thin film deposition on silicon wafer. Um, so, but if you look at the pin junction, and uh, uh, my major is fixed. You can feel that the HJT pin junction is the most simple, symmetry, and beautiful pin junction. With its physical, with its physical principle, it will be the best pin junction for, for solar. But the only challenge is that it's hard to control that how you can deposit the same film on silicon wafer with the low cost and with very precisely control. So we work on this for many years, especially, especially at the hard time when nobody believed this work happen. But uh, we stick to this HJT for, for many years. And uh, now we made, we made a bigger, bigger progress. Till today, and uh, we, we still believe and, and we were ready to make it happen that we can achieve the high efficiency and low cost at the same time on HJT already. And uh, so this, so for HJT, it's, it's our dream. So we cannot give up our dream. <laughs> so if I have the chance to make a choice again, I will pick up HJT. Okay. And you're progressing, right? So I think uh, it's constantly progress we're seeing. So still there is this um, CAPEX uh, disadvantage today, which, which you have. There, there is a certain gap. So, and for that, um, one would think that the, that the natural market for, for heterojunction is, is a residential segment where, where the, the, the price of the module per watt is, is, is not so important as mm -hmm. in the utility segment. But, um, we, but this, the most efficient module that, that you have listed in our top solar modules uh, tying news list um, is, is, a, is, is this powerful um, 715 watt product. So that means that's a product which is obviously designed for the utility scale market. Um, so how are you convincing um, project developers to use HJT modules today? Okay, so in, in people's mind, people always think, oh, HJT is, is some of the high cost product. So HJT should go to the, some of the high price marketing. But actually, HJT is a high efficiency with a low cost product. We can use the most thinner wafer, and also we can use a copper, not a silver only, on the paste. And uh, so we, Huasang, we already demonstrated that we can, we can achieve almost the same cost 
compare with the per kind of top count already. It's a number one. And the number two, actually, so for HJT, the product is very special. It's, we have the very high by feature rate. So if you go to the utilities applications, you can, you can absorb more light from the backside, from diffusion light or reflection light. So at, a, at that application, HJT can generate more power compared to PERC and the TopCon. We have many demonstration sites all over the world in average for one watt with one watt, HJT can generate almost 6% higher power compared to PERC and 3% power higher than TopCon. Which means, so we do, we do the financing model for, for the utility scales. We found even HJT, we say a, lead, a little higher price, higher than TopCom, but our the, and the user, they can still keep the, the overall investment lower than TopCom, and the bad, and also the LCOE is better than TopCom, and, and the perk already. So, so that, that's, that's how we can convince or persuade, pers persuade our customer to use the HGAT on, on, on the power station application. And uh, after, a few, after the, a few sites and projects, and they convinced that they do get the better, the, the, the better uh, IRR with HGAT and compared to PERC and TOPCOM. They, we, they, they continue to use more and more HGAT on, on utility application. Okay, with, with these arguments speaking in favor of HJT, so better bifaciality, better LCOE, mm. um, you would think actually that the market share should uh, quickly <laughs> increase. Um, so, but um, I just took a look into the recent international technology roadmap, which um, said that uh, the market will slowly increase to 8% market share this year. Um, and uh, around 15% in 2026. Do, do you think this is, um, this is the right ballpark or, um, or, or do you disagree? And how much, how much market share do you think HJT will, will have in the, in the mid run? We want to get more market share, of course. And uh, this year, uh, this year may be a little lower than 8%. Okay. Because for HGAT, uh, even uh, a lot of companies they set up the HGAT fab already, but may, but I think it's it's not so easy for them to realize the mass production. So this year, I guess for every, for totally for HGAT delivery globally will be around close to thirty gigawatt. Okay. From twenty five to thirty gigawatt for HGAT delivery this year, and uh, Huasan will take up almost fifty uh, percent. And uh, this will be a little lower than 8%. Uh, and this uh, may be still 6 to, to 7% of mm -hmm. total delivery. And, uh, but uh, by year 2026, we want, we, we want to deliver more than 16%. Uh, we, we have some of the assumption for the future market share for HGAT before we realize the tandem mass production for HJT and Pelskite, HJT, HJT will take up up to almost 30% around the year 2027. That, that's my estimation, 30%. Okay, wonderful. So it looks like- But that, that's need a lot of effort, <laughs> not only Huasan. And we, for this year, we see some change that some of the big companies, they want to, they already, begin to make investment on HGT also. And uh, like Tongwei, like other big companies, I think this will help to increase the HGT market share very quickly. And you set a great example. So I think uh, uh, the future for HGT looks bright. Thanks, Jimmy. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm.